Hi guys, welcome back to Cydonia. This is episode 12, season 2, and I got a lot of work done last episode, and hopefully we can keep that trend going this episode. I worked on this off camera, because it was really fiddly. I um found a program, it was really neat, it was called Plots on the internet, and it helped me to actually go through each layer and figure out where I was needing to put my blocks to make this dome perfectly spherical and I think it turned out really good I was actually thinking I was making a 15 by 15 but the interior is 15 by 15 so my dome itself had to go by the 17 by 17 I also finished off in here opposite the the egg farm so it's been doing pretty good We're almost filled up a chest these two haven't filled up at all I don't know how that works but I built this here the chicken farm and I've got a little bit of cooked chicken better than eating carrots all the time that's for sure today I want to actually work on expanding this possibly and putting in the um a cow farm. Well, I don't really need books as much because, I mean, I can just go down and loot out the stronghold the rest of the way if I needed to. And I have all the books I need, but, I mean, I'm sure they could be useful for something. I have to clean up this gravel, too. We've been talking, we're actually on the new snapshot now, and we've been talking about, well, Jay was asking about a UHC event, and I said, well, I'd just rather have the UHC back in every every other week, we'd have UHC mode, and so we haven't been on UHC mode since we started the new map, and having UHC mode makes it, I mean, you, you don't need potions if you're not in UHC mode. I set up this potion area back here and I've barely used it. I made fire resist potions and that's pretty much it. I I need to actually I think I put a couple more potion stands in here now. I've got my um supplies here for making potions and water bottles there. I don't know what I'm gonna put here. Possibly I don't know. I might do an automatic potion stand eventually I don't know we'll see you know, I have finished potions here but in about two hours is what he said he's gonna actually turn on UHC mode so we'll be um, actually needing those potions but I think I'm gonna start working on that cow farm I gotta test a few ideas I want something where the cows are all stuck in like one block area like I have the chickens and then the babies pop out a one block hole and maybe they get stored away in another pen somewheres I might have an open pen where they can get out and roam around or I might have just a a one block hole where they just sit there and I can either hit them all with a sword or just kill them all with a potion but I'm going to be doing digging again, so I'm going to pause, and I will see you after I've dug out the space I think I need. So I will see you in a bit. Well, I got the room dug. I'm not sure exactly how I'm doing this yet. So I think I'm going to actually go start dragging cows down here. and hoping I can get them down here without killing them. Last time I drug animals down a staircase like that, I practically killed half of them. So, it's a pretty good thing there's quite a few of them up there. As long as I get enough, I'll be fine, I guess. So I guess that's what we'll do next. I'm going to empty this out a little bit, and we're going to head up there and start dragging cows down the stairs. Silly, yes, but oh well. I have 
have the leads. That should be all I'll need. It's daytime. Hmm. I have an idea. Maybe a way I can keep them from getting killed. Let's get some stone. I'm kind of thinking dragging them will kill too many of them. I mean, yeah, I could do it, but let's block that off and let's block this off for now. Now, I don't want them to go out past this hall. Let's see. Um, Let's go ahead and block this off. All right. I'm thinking actually what I'll do is I'll put this water here. It should go all the way down. If I push a cow into the water, it should go all the way down as well. Now all I have to do is get them in here. All right. Not sure um, how many cows I have. Although it looks like I can do it in one trip, so that's like 14 cows. This is a tight fit. Well, I guess we're going to drag them a little bit. I'm kind of hoping that the water will break their fall. Although it looks like it's not going to do a complete fall break or whatever you want to call it but I think it did help a little bit it seems like it helped a little bit I guess I didn't need this I don't know if I still have 14 cows or not, though. It's kind of hard to tell. Well, I lost a few. Where are the leads? There's one. Anyways, let's see if there's any more cows left over. I should have another lead floating around here somewhere. Because, yeah, there it is. We had lost one. I don't know if we lost any cows up here. But I do know that we need to block this back off and take the water back. I don't know. It seemed to work a little bit. 
I see a cow. So we didn't even get all the cows to follow us completely. Alright, let's fix this. There. Alright. Let's see if I can't push this cow down without killing it. If I can get them all down there and not kill any of them, that'll be like 14 cows in the breeder. So that should be a pretty good uh, breeder, what you call it. That should be enough for me anyways. could always set it to breed more cows if I need. I think it'll probably be alright though. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and block the cows in here. Because I can't keep them all tied up. I need the leads to be able to um get them to where I want them to be. Which I'm thinking possibly maybe in this corner. But I'm not exactly sure. So it's like if I had them pushed into this corner here. I'd have to get all of them up in that hole though. In order to get them into that area. Eh, we can try anyways. So you like that. That's two. But although I don't want to wait for them to do it all by themselves. And I was, I was actually thinking perhaps I might, um... Well, they'll be floating up anyway, so... <laughs> it's funny that they're just walking up there and falling in all by themselves. Wonder how many are gonna do it like that. I wonder. Although I can't get out of here though. I was thinking I'd go get some wheat. And then I'd come up here and like stand right back here. They'd be all rushing in to try to get in. Silly cows. See, I'm gonna need... Baby cows will come out that hole right there, of course. Um, I need a storage area. Let's see if I can't get a few more cows to sort of go up there. Oh, well, maybe that's not such a good plan. Well, I guess I need the wheat.
We'll try that. Let's go grab some. I'll need some to breed them with it anyways, so... There. Alright. Maybe that'll work. Of course, that's if they're even interested now. I don't think they can go across the corners. I think they have to fall in. Come on. Fall in. Come on. Fall in the hole. Okay, so they can't go across the corners. Oh, come on. Fall in the hole. There's one. I think that was two. No, push back in the hole. I think that was one more. Ah, yes, I did it. Finally. I think I got them all in the hole. Wow. It's a lot of cows in one hole. Alrighty. Is that all of them? I think so. Wow. That's a lot of work. Cows are fiddly. Let's see. I'm gonna need to put water bucket right there. Of course, maybe I shouldn't do that yet. I haven't got the rest of the... Oops. Okay, I want the water. Not the milk. Uh, maybe it'll be alright. Just to be on the safe side, let's do that. They can't get out now. And let's do this so I can work here. Okay, I'm going to need a holding pen. Thinking here, or I'm not sure exactly yet. I may put the sign right there and leave a 4 by 4 pen here. I might put hoppers under there so that as I kill the cows I can just get the drops collected. I need some signs, some half slabs, a piston, Alright, I want to take out this and this and actually have these. Whoops. Not quite like that. Like that. That way I can actually see the cows and actually breed them through there. Now I want to have a sign. Right there. That will keep the water from coming out any further. And I want to have the fences like this. That way the little baby cows will be stuck right there. They won't be able to go anywhere. So let's see, we can put this here. That'll let me get up in here, but nobody else, or the cows won't be able to get out. Alright, now let's breed. 
Uh oh. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna have to be careful there. Any more? Nope, doesn't look like it. Anyways, let baby cows here. Let them build up. Although, I might actually do a pit here instead. Because it, it seems like they're going to have. They're going to want to go back in. Hmm. I thought I could have gotten more to breed than that. I guess there's a few more here. Oh well. Let's see. The piston I would prefer to have on the inner side, but until I figure out exactly how I'm doing this design. Ah, darn. Let's see. I think I can take that out. It should be fine. Now, do that, and it's gonna block that off. And of course, they're all gonna try to go up in there. Because the water's been taken out. And, and if they stay up in there, they're gonna. That's gonna cause a problem. So, pit it is. Of course, that means I can't get out. I can now. I'll have to put a ladder in. There. Now the cows will just fall down this little pit and I guess we don't really need this now because they can't get out. It'll be easier for me to collect drops from there too as well. Although I'm probably not gonna bother with the hoppers. I really thought I could get more cows to breed than that though. Maybe I should have made this out in the open somewhere. Well, I may change it anyways. I don't know yet. I know one thing. It was really hard to get those cows in there. But I guess that's going to be it for that part of the, whatever I'm doing. Um, Let's see. What should I do next? Well, I guess I'll, I'll figure it out and I'll come back and we'll do it together. So I'll see you in a bit. Welcome back guys. I've finally decided which melon farm I was going to use, pumpkin farm. Um, it's Panda's design. Or, well I think that's what it is. He said something about Doc M building something similar. And him improving it, but I don't know. I'll link you back to the video that I was watching. 
I think I can build this without having to refer ba back to the video, though. So, that'd be good. It's a simple design. It's just in layers, rather than a long um, room with melons like I wanted, I'm going to have to make a vertical farm. So, I've got that, and... See, I've got the glowstone, and I've got the pistons. All I have to do is build each layer the way it says to build them. So, let's get going. Well, let's see. He used wood here, but I don't see the sense in changing from the stone brick I'm using. I'll probably fill this in as, as well later on, too. All right, let's see. Let's see now. He had it set up like this, but I'm going to want this redstone here hidden. So I'm thinking possibly I'll extend the torch line down. Alright. Now that that's done, Jay had to restart the server because he updated the server to the B version of the snapshot. And it looks like we had a little bit of rollback as well. So I think what I'm gonna do, I want the probably gonna put the pressure plate there, which I'll have to remake because of the rollback. And I will put the redstone underneath. I think two more layers will be enough. All right.
Oh, darn. I need one more piece of smooth stone. All right, that works. There's supposed to be one more up here. Alright, now all I gotta do is actually till the soil and put in the pumpkin or melon. I think this side's gonna be pumpkin though. And I have to repeat this four more times. So I think I'm gonna cut here and go ahead and finish this off. And I will meet you back when I'm done. Well, I think I've pretty much got this part done. Yeah. They all go off the way they're supposed to. Now all I need to do is get the melons planted and make this look pretty. and get the rest of the water up in there. I've got two buckets so far. I need to get a few more. Possibly make an infinite water source down here. And I think I need to get some smooth stone. And I could probably dump off some of this stuff now. Although I will have to come back to get some of it. actually had to dig out the roof with just a little bit more because it wasn't quite high enough. Okay, let's make an infinite water source here. Or not here. Bother. And I can't do it on the other side either. Well, I could still do it. I just have to do it like this. Alright, let's get something to pillar up with. Oh no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. No! My redstone!
father. Cause I'm gonna have to figure out where where my redstone's been messed up. Okay, that one looks fine. That one looks fine. And that one looks fine. Where'd, where'd the redstone get messed up then? I know it got messed up somewhere. So I just found a torch as well. Was it right at the bottom? Is that the only place it got messed up? Are you seriously saying that the bottom was the only place it got messed? Oh, good grief. Well, I'm glad, anyways. It seems like if, if it was the bottom, then at least it wasn't anything else. So, looks like everything's back to normal. And I've got one more water thing to stick in. Alright, let's get this in here. Eh, maybe I don't need two buckets there. I guess we'll start here at the top. Alrighty, that's done. All I need to do is put this water bucket here, and let's see. That should catch all the drops as well. Now I want to cover this up.
<laughs> There's already a pumpkin. What you? All right. That's that done. Now I have to repeat it on the other side as well. Which means I'm going to have to dig out that roof again. Because this one hasn't been dug quite up as high. I've done 7. It needs to go up to 12. I originally thought it only needed to be up to 11. But it actually needs to be 12. So the pumpkin farm is done. And now I just have to build the melon farm. So, I think I'm going to go do that off camera, and that's going to probably be it for now. Have, occasionally, I guess we're going to have those pumpkins that don't always make it. I don't really like that, but there's not really much I can do about it. I think all of the designs I've seen have flaws like that. But... I think that's going to be it for this episode, so hope you enjoyed, and as always, like it if you like it, leave me a comment, and I will see you next time. Bye!